live from Los Angeles. Welcome back to Good Morning, Lala. On Thought Thursday, we are here with Chris Cornell. He is an actor, producer, founder of Team New Awakening. What is that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> what is that thing? First of all, you have the Awakening the Book. I do. And I was like, oh my gosh, we have so much in common. Oh my gosh, I see. My <laughs> and you guys know each other. We I, know each other. You're like yeah. family. I know, same gym. Yeah, same gym, everything. It's the same town. So, um, wow. Team New Awakening, it's a health organization mm -hmm. uh, that I lead, and it's incredible. It's all about entrepreneurship, everything that deals with health, wellness. We work with the world's most advanced nutrition, so we can help get people sexy, looking good, feeling good. Get them awakened. Get, get them awakening. What yeah. put this mission on your heart? You know, um, I have told people for so long, uh, from day one, I knew I had to live a life by design. Um, I just couldn't do the same, you know, get up, show up here, clock in there, um, set limits here. I just couldn't. I had to, uh, I had an awakening at a very young age, and I knew that life, I, I had more to offer. Yeah. And so um, in leading this great team right now that we put together and the community around it, and it's just, it's helping people discover their, their inner, bigger, brighter selves, mm -hmm. you know? I love that. Well, yeah. you have a bright star in you as well as an actor, right? I'm an actor, tell us, yeah. Tell us about that's, that too. that's the beauty of it. It's uh, it's incredible. I'm an actor. Uh, I do some producing, a little bit of modeling as well. Um, film and television. I've got a new movie that I can't really talk about just yet, but this fall I'll be starring in. I'm really excited about. Um, it's so Hollywood. We've got a big project, but I can't tell you. I can't tell you. Yeah. We're like, there's going to be darts that are shot. <laughs> we tranquilized on the couch here. Sure. But um, you found all it. the money they paid. Tell happens. us a little bit about the Devious Maids. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was a great show. Recently canceled. Uh, so exciting. It's just another day being an actor running around naked next to uh, <laughs> Susan Lucci on a scene. You know, just another day. Let's well, take a look at that. Oh, yeah. It's a great <laughs> Who are you? Shall we have the tour? You're in my house. No, no, this is Raina's house. Of course it is. The pink champagne, the only thing better than regular champagne. Hi, Raina. You're back early. Raina, why is there a naked man defiling my silk pillow? But that is my friend. Mark Marshall. I'll take that. Oh oh, you know what I love about this so much is that I feel like we're going into a new era of awakening mm -hmm. where it's not like you have to renounce, you have to become the Bernie man. You can be in Hollywood, you can have your spiritual practice, and like that's what I think you represent, which is so brilliant, if I'm not to say myself. Best of both worlds. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's just like allowing, giving yourself permission is probably the best way to, to live in your truth, something I know you mm -hmm. talk a lot about, and that's everything to me. Right. Um, I think there's so much that we're all so capable of, and I know it sounds really cliche, but to me it's all about making the decision, committing to it, having the trust in yourself, and then ultimately, especially in, in a town and in an industry like this, to have the resiliency um, to to survive those challenging moments where so many other people just kind of collapse inward and they ultimately want to, um, I always say it's it's kind of like they, they live uh, in fear and disguise as practicality. And, oh, that's you know, powerful. Yeah. And it's just like, I'm done living in fear. I want to live in my truth. And oh. that's all about what my organization does. Um, it's what I represent uh, myself as an actor. That it, It's just my life. It's how I choose to live. You live naked. Um, <laughs> I, I, you know, I know. You wake up naked. Yeah, someone steals your there. pillow. You wake up in this house, and <laughs> so, Susan Lucci's so, staring at you. So and you're like, sex in this uh, un, un No, but there, there's something magical about being impractical, and that's really truly like living on faith and believing oh, in, in, in the magic of Hollywood or La Land or whatever it is, the universe, right? Because sometimes I wonder, oh, I should be a little more practical. I should be a little more real. I am an eternal optimist. I'm a, the biggest dreamer ever, and I love that. Miss impracticality. Yeah. <laughs> no, and you guys do that beautifully here. And I, you were like a model, my, yeah. the, and author, and you obviously, same thing, modeling and, and the entertainment world, and obviously everything you've done here. And it's like, you guys represent this town so beautifully. Aww. And what you do is awesome and inspiring to me. And I'm so you. honored to be here. So we just locked the doors. So you anyway, get to stay for So anyway, you know. We'll, um, no, we're not looking for the co-hosts. You can't have a position. <laughs> but we need more of that in this, in 
not just in this town, but especially in those towns where people are, are kind of trained to live in that little set, live in that box yeah. because we're comfortable with it. And um, you guys have given yourselves permission uh, to just live this really awesome life. It's so inspiring. It takes so one inspiring. to know one. Yeah. To know one. Mm-hmm. How do you stay in that place of faith when things are tough? Oh, man. Um, so, uh, honestly, uh, so much of my faith is in perfect alignment with knowing who I am and my strength. So here's the thing. I always take those obstacles, those tough moments, dark, those, those moments that really challenge us, and I turn it into something mm-hmm. absolutely beautiful because I know I'm going to rise above this. So I just wear it like another badge. It's like another badge or another piece of armor on my body. Um, I always say, too, you know, the, the, the sharpest steel was made in the hottest of fires. Right. And right. Um, and it's just so true. So it just it's it helps me grow. Honestly, that's what makes me grow. And I totally embrace that part of my life. Well, you're not just a cute face. Neither are you guys. Oh my gosh, so dapper work, and pretty and beautiful. And the, the new awakening. That's right. Your team awakening. How can oh, we, where can you find? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, well, uh, of, of course, you can reach me, uh, Chris C H R I S W Connell, which is C O N N E L L. Of course, Facebook, Instagram. We're all over the place. Uh, or the gym. Or you can just see me at the local gym. Not at 5 a.m. I'm more the 11 o'clock guy. That is where you're much more. <laughs> so awesome. Thank you so much, so Chris. Oh, so great. Right. Stay tuned back tomorrow. Good morning, awesome. Holland.